He's the man tasked with bringing peace to Burundi, but the former Tanzanian president's job just got a little harder. The Burundian government itself has refused to attend these negotiations. Were you disappointed, sir, that the government hasn't come today? No, I invited political parties. Uh, all it means is that I have postponed my meeting them. I thought I'd make it easier for me if all of them were here. But now it means I'll have to make a special arrangement to meet them separately. But the ruling party is coming, I've been assured. And you know, it's the parties that persuade the people to be peaceful. Thank you. But there's no time to lose. NGOs accuse the government of killing or torturing opposition members. And the United Nations warns that the country is at risk of spiralling into ethnic genocide. More than a quarter of a million Burundians have already fled to neighbouring countries and more arrive every day. Many opposition parties say the government is to blame. I think they should be here because they're in power and they're responsible for our poverty, the unrest and the destruction which is going on. Their boycott of these talks shows that they're not acting in good faith. They're the ones who have violated the constitution. The government insists there is peace and maintains the violence is exaggerated by the media. It blames exiled members of the opposition for carrying out armed attacks and has refused to negotiate with them. However, their supporters say the government could still be persuaded to participate. It's too early to say that they won't attend the talks at all. They'll come soon, I'm sure. They only postponed when they found out that the coup plotters were coming, who they believe should be taken to court. But I'm sure they will sit and talk and find a solution with the facilitator. But until the government shows up, there'll be no meaningful negotiation between the two sides. Nobody is claiming that this round of talks will bring about sustained peace and security in Burundi, but President Mkapa is hopeful that members of the governing party will arrive in the next few days and it will be seen as a success if he can stop these talks from collapsing altogether. Dan Ashby, CGTN in Arusha, Tanzania.